So then today we're going to take a look at what is in my Lopro 350 AW backpack as a 14 year old photographer. We're going to take a look at everything from start to finish. So let's get straight into it. Right then, so then we're going to take a look into what is in my Lopro 350 AW. And then we're going to take a look at what's on the outside pockets to begin with. So this is the Lopro 350 AW for people who don't know. This is a bag that I have always wanted to have and I got about nearly a year ago now, so I've had about a year to be with this bag. Some of my best photos have been taken with this bag. I took this to Warwick Castle when I did the bird photography, for instance, and this got covered in dust because it was a lovely hot British summer's day. Hot British, which is unusual. So we're first going to take a look at what is over here in the side. So in our first side pocket, we first have a nice, I'm a bit aviation, you know, love me aviation. Got a remove before flight. Tag, it also identifies this bag as being mine, so I just attach one to the side. So on the side here, in this nice small pocket over here, we do have my have my quick release strap here, which I use obviously when I'm doing photography. This is a brilliant strap, and obviously when I quickly transfer it to like a gimbal or in instance for doing videography, these are brilliant. There's a little tab inside my camera, I'll put a picture on screen if I can find one. But yeah, these are brilliant. Saved my life so many times when I have dropped my camera. I actually dropped my Sony when I first bought it at the show that I bought it at. I bought it obviously at the NEC the other year. So I'm gonna put this back in there and zip that up. Again, I love that tag. Got that from uh, the RAF Cotswood actually. Good, good museum. I just took the Sony there and hopefully there'll be some photos that I can show soon from that. So we're not gonna look into, if we look down here, not gonna look into these pockets just yet because we'll see this from the inside, but these basically. So the next we're gonna go on to one of the hip straps to begin with. So I have some added extras with this bag, with the one of them being one of these. I also have obviously the tripod gear as well. So if we open this up in here, we have my tripod attachment. When I'm carrying my tripod around, I don't carry it very often, but I have it. I also have the two tripod straps, which are also useful for carrying bottles and stuff on the side of this bag. I do use these quite a bit. I think that's it, yeah. And obviously sometimes I'll put on my phone and I'll back you back in there, for instance. It's that kind of, you know, good utility pocket. Obviously it is low pro branded. If my camera wants to focus, there we go. It is low pro branded. So that's just a nice pocket that is also, you can see down here, removable. So that's that pocket. Clips onto the webbing. This bag has webbing all over it, which is a brilliant thing absolutely love having the web in. So in the smaller hip pocket we have camera lens cleaning, we also have a little plastic wallet full of camera lens cleaners and another one that I use. I've got a ton of these, this one's actually newer branded, how nice. This side has no web on but it's quite a big pocket and in this pocket if we open it up I carry, this is not made up, and then that's what a lot of my family say this looks like, and it does look like makeup, yes, but it is not. It is in fact some, what they call a makeup brush apparently, but this came with a camera cleaning kit and I, I use it for like cleaning my screen and stuff. So that I have that obviously. Also in here we have your standard, we actually have two of these in here I'm fairly sure. Yeah, I have two of these. Two standard sort of camera lens cleaners, so it's a brush on one end. Woo! On the other end you've got that, and then you also have a smaller one underneath. Two of them, because I got two for some reason. I don't know where the second one came from. I think it came with like something I bought. And then just like a general duster brush if you're in a dusty environment. It's a good little brush to have. Also in here, ah uh, yes, yeah, standard. Two extra GoPro screws, they're very very useful to have on you at all times. And I love having them. On the other side again we have that quick release pocket and we also have another side pocket. I don't actually use this side pocket for anything. I might put like if a cable in there or something, you know, a special thing for that event that I'll be using this camera bag yet or that trip, but generally there's nothing in that pocket. But more webbing for attaching anything that I may need. So we're now going to take we're now going to take a look at the top of my bag. You can see a very nice shadron can. That's one thing I do like that about this bag compared to my old bag, which I still actually haven't sold yet. I still own the Enderax, which was my previous one and the end the, you know the cons about the end of actors was it was really big it was lime green like the you know the handles and stuff were lime green top area I'm trying to get this in the center of my camera here Ugh, i'm gonna open this up now a couple of things 
This normally is kind of event specific up here, but generally if I'm, you know, just doing leisure photography, etc, etc, I do carry my flash, which we'll get out and look at in a second. And also if we just look in there, there's batteries and there's also something else in there apparently. Oh yeah, a random hot shoe adapter. But yeah, normally I'd keep AAA batteries in there for the flash. I have a ton of rechargeable AAA batteries. So then we're going to take a look at one of the first items I keep in this bag, which is obviously my wonderful flash. So this is a, I can't remember the brand of it, of course, which is why I remember the brand. It's TT600 from, I think, Godox, isn't it? Yeah, TT600 from Godox. I bought this on sale, funnily enough, so I don't really use it that much because I don't like flash, personally. I prefer, if I can do it with natural light, that's obviously everyone's preferred method. In darker environments, I generally like, especially now with the Sony, <laughs> It's brilliant low light capabilities, so I don't actually use it very often, but I am trying to teach myself flash photography. Don't know where you have battery in this. Oh, we do have battery in this as well, look. Oh, very fancy. So yeah, this is just a quite standard flash. It's nothing really special about it. Runs off four AAA batteries. I have rechargeable ones to make it easier for me. My hot shoe mount, obviously. Has some sensory stuff back here. I don't know what any of this does. It just, I press a button over here and it sensors stuff. I don't know. I think it's that one. Yeah, there you go. It's that red sensor thing. I don't know actually what that does. I probably should Google that. Uh, if we look at the head of this, we obviously have zoom. So if I... Uh, there you go. So you do, if you can see in there. Yeah, you can sort of see in there. What's going on, can't you? So it has zoom on it. I do have an attachment. I do have some Falco stuff that's on the top of this for sort of other stuff and flash head things but it also does have, if I can get it out, which I never can a pair of pliers later, we have a simple white card and like a grid disperser thing don't use it at all but they're there so yeah, that's the flash oh look you can actually see the flashness there not in a waste the battery it comes in this nice little case and obviously if I was to buy more accessories for it I could mount this to a tripod it does come with a tripod mount for remote flash. Right, so we're now in the main part of the bag. So, quick look at the, the actual straps on these. I love these straps. They are so, so padded. It is beautiful. Especially when I carry these bags for, say, an entire day, which is, can be 12 hours? Now let's take a look in here. And also we're going to fold that away, reveal the back. This also is good for travelling. Not that I've ever travelled aboard with this, but that as well. So also, I should actually mention, whilst we're on this area, Rain Mac! That's one thing I do like about this bag. Now my Android had the Rain Mac, but it weren't attached, so it was really easily lost. This one is attached, and it stores nicely at the bottom. Out the way, and I was allowed it shut. There's also another strap there, for whatever reason. So anyway, look at that nice Active Zone logo, yeah. Anyway, we're going to now open the bag. And this is where all the gear is obviously stored. So there is a couple of spaces obviously missing. I have just been up here. This is the hard top where the flash sat. Here is where my camera sits, obviously, that's what's recording this, obviously. And obviously there is a couple of things missing out of there, because again, I am using the DJI mic system to record, because it's a good system. Now, we're going to take a look at everything we carry from here to here to here to here. Let's take a look. So, we're going to start off in this quadrant area. So, I've put this ba bag laid out so that each area represents something. So, we're going to take a look at this first, which again, it's another low pro pouch. If it wants to focus, come on, focus. There you go. This is another low pro pouch. So, this carries a few things. I mean, again, you can attach this by webbing, not that I do, or you can like, put it on your belt, not that I've ever done that. But we're going to take a look in the main pocket to begin with. Now, I'm a big DJI fan, I use a lot of DJI gear. So to obviously begin with, I have the Rave Knife. Beautiful video transmission system. Absolutely love it. My actual first video transmission system, and I have loved it. I bought this when I bought my RS2, 
about a year ago now. I'm not buying the RS3. I, I have owned the Ronin S and the RS2. So I've owned pretty much every generation but the RS3. So that's a pretty cool little bit of kit. And also it's metal, so it's bloody brilliant. It does get warm though quite quick, I must admit. Next thing, which I did buy the Pro Combo kit, I also got a focus motor that I never use, but well, I may never use it because I don't have a big enough gear for this new lens. Lovely motor though, again, metal, nice and solid. USB-C as well, thank you Ronin for using USB-C now. Love the thing, can't live without it. I think that's it in that pocket. However, if we go to the front here, so, in the front here, we are missing a few one or two things out of here, but we have a GoPro screw driver. We also, that's a piece of paper, that's very annoying. Also have a backup for the GoPro, uh, USB, not USB, uh, full SD to micro SD converter. Normally in there is also a spare one of my camera strap things, but at the moment it is not in there for some reason. Not entirely sure why, I think that's everything that I keep in this little GoPro bag. So then our next pocket, this is where that little bag was, so our next pocket is my audio area. So I carry, at the moment I only have two audio pieces, or two audio devices. So my first one is my Bowyer. I would prefer to upgrade like a Rode one, but I only have Bowyer for the second. So we'll look at after that. We'll, we'll look at these in a minute. We'll put you over there, we'll look at the Bowyer in a minute. And obviously my next one is obviously my new thing, which I was meant to make a review on and I still haven't. But they are my DJI mics. That's fine, so as you can see I'm using the two at the moment but DJI mics love them very 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 nice DJI boy we'll take a look further at these a bit later so this is my Bowie shotgun microphone that I sometimes use for like large events etc etc where you're not obviously able to lav someone up like I'm in a studio man so the first thing in my very nice bag is obviously the wind muffle this is such an important tool um Next up is obviously the actual barrel, so this is a very, very nice small, sort of like YouTuber style I've seen apparently. Nice and small shotgun microphone from Bowie, yeah. 3.5mm, non-powered, metal, quite nice actually for the price of these when I got these off. In here I got a couple of things, I actually have found the other lead, so this lead is not one you needed, but this was a temporary lead for the uh, phone I'm going to say. Yeah, so this is my camera lead. This is the temporary phone lead. Not, I use it on my phone anymore. Uh, I went down the back of the table. We have my camera plug lead, camera, and then you've got your other end. And obviously the hot shoe mount. Nice and audio stable, of course. Okie dokie then. So back to the bag. We now have my miscellaneous. So first off we have just a random GoPro mount. All of my GoPro equipment, or my catch and camera equipment, I don't actually own a GoPro, but they all have a screw in, so every mount has a screw in, so you always can find a screw if you need one. Spare mount, very important. Uh, next up in here is... Give me a second and I will actually find the other end. Or not. Where is the other end to this? Anyway, this is a camera air blower. I will obviously put a bit of on the screen when I find the actual end to that. Next up I carry is a battery pack. Very, very useful for this. It's actually dead, so I've been using this quite a bit on shoots recently. So yes, I do get time to actually go out and do some photography. I generally do like wildlife photography. I don't get much chance to do people photography. Whenever I do, like at Christmas and birthdays and stuff, at my family's birthdays, which has been a lot recently, I do do a bit of people photography. Also in here we have just a like Wii U, like a Wii style lockable uh, like yard for your GoPros. And also in here again just a good old GoPro attachment, which is very very useful, which you'll see in a minute why it's very, very useful actually. So next pocket over here is my GoPro action cam pocket. So I have these AKSO GoPro cameras, these are actually 4K 60fps cameras. Very, very nice camera. This has no battery in it at the moment for some reason. Again, 4K 60fps. It does live up to the fact that it is quite nice quality. I've had this brand, I've had this since brand new. From what I've seen, I may actually get another action camera for Christmas. I'm not entirely sure what brand, but obviously I will do a video on anything I do yet for Christmas. Production media related. That camera's gonna go down in a minute. But yeah, nice little camera. Good. I have tested it underwater a few times. So moving on from the camera, I should also say actually, this is why this is very useful, when you want to do it 
do that, and then get them out from 3.5, then you just. Next in the case is obviously the waterproof case, very very useful thing to have. Yeah, they're very nice, love it. Nice waterproof case. Moving on, we have a head strap. Again, when I'm filming a lot of like, when I'll start filming a lot of POVs photography, which I will be doing soon. Very, very, very useful. Love having this. Ah, oh, yes, look what I found. The end to my blower. That's not the right thing. So, obviously. So, I'll also do it down the microphone. You can obviously hear that. So, we are now going to move on to the next area. Right then, so the next up is what I call the light section of my bag. Very important of any video for photographer, light. We need light all the time. So we start off with a cheap, I say cheap because this was out of like a vlogger's kit out of a shopping centre. I thought I might as well get the vlogger's kit to see what it contains. It contains a really, really bad microphone that didn't even work. And this, to be fair, fairly okay light with a bunch of hot shoe mounts which do come in handy a lot of the time. So this is just again a very, very simple light. And obviously you can see, whoop, 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 whoop. So yeah, very, very simple light, three modes, double A, nice and simple, I use it in cases when I need to, but yeah, nice little light, that's the first light. Next we actually carry a KNF Concept phone mount, this is very, very useful for if you're filming like TikTok content, I personally don't like TikTok, nor do I endorse it. But if you film Instagram Reels, Social Reels, YouTube Shorts, etc, etc, even though I use a camera for YouTube Shorts, which seems excessive, but to be fair, it doesn't actually, it doesn't actually produce 4K content. I don't know what I do run, but yeah, I do film in 4K. But yeah, nice little stand, don't use it very often, but it's very useful to have. I've got like 10 phone stands. I should actually probably sell some. <laughs> Mild phone stand addiction. Now, next job is one of my favourite pieces of equipment. I've had this piece of equipment for three years now. You can actually see there's no actual little 3.5mm attachment to it anymore. But I use it as a good little handheld. It comes with a bunch of lights. I'm hoping to upgrade to some aperture lights soon, to be fair. But first off, we have some, what well, basically are gels, but they're hard plastic screen gels. Nice few of them. Love them. They're very useful for this bag. And, <clears throat> and obviously you've got the bat, you've got the actual light here. It is battery powered. Sony battery. Well, old Sony battery because this isn't a new Sony battery like what this runs on. But you can see there, very, very, very nice. Love it. Gives that nice orange effect. If you look in the back of some of my face cam videos, you'll notice some orangey yellow light. This produces some of it. So we are now going to move on to the final area of my bag which is you can see just there so let's slide on down now this area of my bag i will use for lenses i recently only bought the sony so i haven't actually branched into the e-mount lenses and also lenses and cameras are quite expensive like seriously expensive so at the moment this is kind of just like a random pocket that I'll put anything I need for that day in. So if I'm using the flash quite a bit, going to these, I'll put these two down here quickly as pockets. So for now, it's just got a ton of GoPro attachments and it will sometimes hold a flash. It just depends on what I'm doing that day. So we're going to repack all of this and then we're going to take a look at the zippers. And Okay, so next on my beautiful load bro, we have the back pockets here so we're going to go through both of them like like everything out of both of them because they have one item of each in each pretty much so my first more bottom pocket holds excessive cleaning stuff so if i need to do a sensor clean which i have never done but i have the tools to so if i need to do a sensor clean i have all the sensor cleaning equipment i need in there spare big duster brush you seen one of them earlier let me see if i can find one well yeah you, you see one of them earlier a mount for a uh, light or anything there and also then the gear ring for the DJI focus motor that doesn't fit this lens so this lens is quite you know quite big next up we have because I do often use a gimbal quite a bit as I always say cable heaven this has every DJI RS3 cable you could ever need plus some USB-C charging cables because I do run fully now off USB-C my DJI mics run USB-C the camera runs USB-C the Ronin 
runs USB-C. Everything runs USB-C now, so I carry a lot of USB-Cs now for obvious reasons. If we then take a look in what is the laptop pocket, obviously I'll take things out here. We first have the DJI mic accessory pack, so in here we've got the wind muffles if I'm filming outside and also the charger for it and also it would normally hold the cable but connecting it to the camera currently. I'm fine to throw that one, that was got nothing valuable in it. Next up is we have a GoPro angled arm again on the end that can have one, have one of them. So if I want to film someone like with a helmet and want to see their face, very very useful piece of kit. Also in here, again for POV filming, chest mount, another good thing you get a lot of weird looks when you've got them on. Also in here, if you want to go in the water, got the float mount, very 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 useful bit of kit. Again I can throw that because that is plastic. Also down here, again a bit of a Ronin kit, this is the mount for the focus motor and obviously that goes on the back of the camera, again all metal, well I love Ronin, nice and hard quality. I love the RS2 as well. And then a little kind of like selfie stick that I sometimes use for like a microphone if I need to get it over someone's head. It works. So then hope you've enjoyed today's video, if you have make sure to subscribe, hit the like button and come back for the next video. Don't forget also to check out our YouTube shorts and our daily YouTube posts that we do on our community tab. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now. It's another low pro pouch. If it wants to focus, come on, focus. Area here. So this is where I keep a bunch of random stuff. So first off, we have.